It might seem like a broken record, but here we are yet again with another awesome Leonardo AI update and new addition. And this is one of the reasons why I love Leonardo AI so much. It doesn't always have to be this huge new update or feature every time. Leonardo AI just continues to come out with new updates time and time again, big and small. And it's actually the smaller updates, the under the radar ones, like the one I'm showing you today, that actually end up really standing out and ultimately end up being hugely helpful and impressive. So while everybody is sitting back and patiently waiting for one of the most anticipated updates to be released in ChatGPT, I'm talking about Sora, Leonardo AI just continues to come out with brand new updates and features time and time again. And speaking of Sora, if you haven't tried Leonardo AI's own version of that yet, and I'm talking about motion, then what are you waiting for? It's amazing. But let's go back to today's highlighted feature. What what we're taking a look at today is Leonardo AI's newest feature that enables true native transparent PNG image generations. Basically, transparent images. And you can see here that Leonardo AI actually states that transparency is more than just background removal. This is a native image diffusion with clean edges. So this will be perfect for creating high quality transparent background images and graphics that could be printed and used for things like stickers or t-shirt designs. And Leonardo AI also states that it's also really effective for generating ready-made 2D video game assets that can be downloaded and added straight into video game engines. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so here we are over here in Leonardo AI. Make sure to check the links in the description for tons of prompts. And it's very easy to get this going. And all it takes is just three very simple steps. The first thing over here on the left-hand side, underneath user tools, go ahead and then just select image generation like you normally would. And then immediately you'll notice on the left-hand side, there it is. There is the new update and feature and it's called transparency. Now you could see it's still in beta, but from the times I've used this, it's done a phenomenal job. Now, one thing to keep in mind, two very important points directly from Leonardo AI themselves. So when I hover over this little question mark, this is a little important piece of instruction, okay? Allows images to be generated with a transparent background, but do not specify a background in your prompt as you may get undesirable results. Meaning when you're actually adding prompts and you have transparent toggled on in your prompt, don't actually type or use the word background in your prompt. Trust me, it won't do a good job. And then the other thing it says is this last sentence does not work well with Leonardo Diffusion XL. So then you might be asking yourself, well, what models do you suggest I actually use this with? Well, I'm glad you asked because Leonardo AI specifically addresses this. Now, here we have it. It says right here with this highlighted text. For best results, use these fine-tuned models. Kino XL, Vision XL, Albedo Base XL, Alchemy V2, or Photoreal V2. So back over here on Leonardo AI, I have transparency turned on. Now, notice this up at the very top of my page. Look at this caution icon right here. As you can notice, I already have a pretty long prompt in my prompt bar, but this caution sign says, shorten your prompt for more reliable results with transparency toggled on, which that's a good point because in this case, less is actually more. Okay, now to get started, the first thing you have to do is come up with or discover what sort of prompt can I use to generate and take full advantage of this new transparency feature. Now, this is also gonna be incredibly helpful if you're looking for prompts to generate print on demand purposes. Now, if you don't have access to my Leonardo AI mega prompts database, this is what you're looking at right now. These contain a ton of Leonardo AI specific prompts. Now you can notice over here on the left-hand side, we have all of our different views. So we can go from a gallery view like this, if you're visual like me, and then you can click and open each prompt, view the image, and then you could see in here the actual prompt that was used, the fine tune model, and then the alchemy preset in order to get an image that looks just like this. So if I went ahead and then posted this in the chat GPT, which I'll show you in a second, I'll copy this and I'll show you exactly how a prompt generator works. This one is specifically for t-shirt designs. And then to take things even to a further level, you could select this 
unique keywords tab and then really get some unique keywords that will generate some fascinating images like this. So first thing, very quickly, just to demonstrate how a prompt generator works, I have chat GPT open. I'm in 3.5 and I'm just going to simply copy and paste this prompt in here. So it says, you're an expert prompt engineer, write some prompts to generate designs for cool graphic t-shirts. If you actually wanted to take this a step further, you could even highlight this prompt right here, copy it, and then open up a new chat paste it in, but now you could add your own sentence at the very end. So let's just say you have a very specific sort of image you want to create. Let's say for an example, you're looking for t-shirt designs that are going to contain images of cars or supercars. Then you could say after this very last sentence, base it around my subject colon supercars. So that's what I have here at the very bottom. You see this? Base it around my subject. I put colon and then supercars. Now if I hit generate, now it's going to give me 10 prompts this time, but all related to that one very specific keyword, supercars. But now let's go back to the first original context we gave it. I want to just get some very unique, random sort of prompts and images, okay? So let's go ahead and then try this one right here. Number two, now head back over here into Leonardo AI. Now remember, select a fine-tuned model that Leonardo AI recommends. In this case, I'll use one of my favorites, Albedo Base XL. I'll keep it on dynamic. Now, I need to make sure I remove my element and now I'm going to paste this prompt in. Okay. On the left hand side, I have my transparency turned on. Now I'll select generate. Now I'm going to go ahead and then copy and paste a few of these directly into Leonardo AI. Once it's done, we'll go back to Leonardo AI and then we'll see how a lot of these images and how well the transparency feature actually worked. Okay. So now let's take a look at how good these images turned out. But you'll notice here first that I'm not actually in Leonardo AI right now. I'm in Canva because what we're going to do is take a look at a few of these images and then we'll see how good they really do look on a completely different background with a different assortment of colors. But now here we are back in Leonardo AI this time. Now here are a few prompts I tried. Now let's go ahead and download a few of these and then see how they look in Canva itself. But this did a phenomenal job generating icons and logos. One of the key things I did notice when utilizing the transparent option is that it really does do a very good job specifically with a few things, creating stickers, creating logos, and then also using a few important keywords like clean look, minimalistic, and then this phrase always works good for me, peaceful and gradient colors. Now over here in this database, I actually have on the left-hand side in this view area, you could see that I have a view called logos and mascots. Now what this view does is it's going to contain all sorts of prompts that will generate images specifically for logos and or mascots and then you could see I tried a few of these over here on this page right here in this mega prompts database for example this is one of my favorites to use email copy icon again I took out the word white background because remember, you don't want to use the word background in Leonardo AI. And then again, there is that nice phrase I like to use, peaceful and gradient colors. And then that's what these are over here in Leonardo AI. Now, for this specific one, I only chose Albedo Base XL, but let's go ahead and then download this one here, okay? Going down, now this one did a very good job for creating this sort of majestic fox. I'll download this one. And then here at the bottom, here we are yet again flat vector logo of a wave, blue and purple gradient colors. So you can see it does well with gradient and it does well when you use flat vector logo. So let's download this third one and then I'll also download the middle one. And then down here at the bottom, here's a pretty cool one as well. Now this is one of my favorite combinations, okay? Leonardo Kino XL with the vibrant preset. And all I did was do a very simple prompt a toucan in a logo form. Now remember, less is more in this case with transparency toggled on. And then another favorite I have is gonna be an 80s retro style sunset or anything with the word 80s retro style. You're gonna kind of get this cool looking image right here. And then we also have this one right here. It's pretty cool. This is good for a t-shirt. And then we also have this one right here as well. And then a few more very simple ones. This one of a tiger right here. You okay, now before we wrap things up, right now it's the moment of truth. 
length. Let's go over into Canva, put in a variety of different backgrounds and colors, and really see how good of a job that transparency actually did work in Leonardo AI. But from the looks of things, if I do actually click on a few of these, you'll notice that you could see here that it did do a pretty good job with the transparent background. If I scroll through all of these, even this tiger right here, I love how it maintained that shadow as well. And then this one is a perfect looking one for a gradient style fox. And then there we are with the toucan and then even the retro cassette. And then there is that email icon and then wave. And then there we have it. Okay, perfect job. Now this one did a phenomenal job. Now let me change the color a few different times of that background color. And as you see, as I go through these different colors, regardless of what color I choose, that fox is going to blend in perfectly well. Okay. And now there you have it. Everything looks fantastic. Let's just do a few different colors of our background here just to see how everything blends in just to ensure that this truly is a good transparency looking image. Now going over all these, I'm highly impressed. I'm very impressed with the capabilities of what this did. Now there you have it. Every single image is a hundred percent completely transparent. Looks great. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if I go back over here into my downloads, you'll notice that each file is actually a PNG file. Other images I create in Leonardo AI, like this one right here, this is a JPEG file, just like all of the other Leonardo AI images. These are all JPEGs. But when you have the transparent feature toggled on, you'll notice now all of my images are now PNG files. So once it's turned on, it automatically creates the PNG file like this one right here. Another amazing update by Leonardo AI. So let me know what you guys think. Try it out for yourself and don't forget to try that prompt generator out. But thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.